People in Los Angeles can be a bit blasé about seeing stars, yet seeing a starship is a show even Hollywood cannot rival. Oh, it's awesome. It's so big, too. I can't believe it's going down the street. You don't normally see the space shuttle outside a donut shop or crossing over the freeway. Crowds got so close to Endeavor this morning at the LA Forum, they could read the numbers on its heat shield tiles. I want to see it because I never saw a space shuttle this close, and I wanted to be an astronaut. Moving a 78-ton spacecraft to the second largest city in the country is an endeavor in itself, and just six people are in charge of moving it down the street. They walk alongside the giant rig, guiding it with a wireless joystick. Driver Gordon Loft says the crowd has been rooting for him. There was some real enthusiasm when you worked your way through a real tight spot because they could see it and they know what was going on. On some neighborhood streets, the shuttle's 78-foot wingspan had just millimeters to spare. Nearly 400 trees were cut down, dozens of traffic lights removed, and 74 power lines raised to accommodate the five-story tall shuttle. Jim Mayer works for the city. We put taller power poles in, took the shorter power poles out, and we raised the wire to the higher, the higher clearance. That way we can keep the power on for the consumers in this area. Yeah. The streets also had to be reinforced with 2,700 metal plates. This whole thing weighs in at 375,000 pounds. This is the only time this is going to happen. Uh, it's the last shuttle and it's never going to do this again and none of them are ever going to do it again. Lift off for the final launch of Endeavor. Endeavor was built in California and arrived back home in style three weeks ago on the back of a 747. The shuttle will dock here tonight at the California Science Center, the end of its final mission. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.